it's just so important to have a healthy heart more so given that cases of heart disease are on the rise amongst the young in india but what are the kind of foods that you must eat to ensure that you have a healthy heart well certainly this time of the year we are making several health resolutions and many of our resolutions involve good eating the food that you should totally avoid if you want a healthy heart should be food which is excessive in salt and excessive in sugar refined sugars or refined carbohydrates for more than 40% of the calories of our diet then there's a significant increase in the risk of heart disease studies have also linked the consumption of fried foods to an increase in heart related diseases if you want to keep your heart healthy avoid these foods at all cost or ensure that there is moderation whenever you take high amounts of salt what it does is basically it increases the volume inside your body because salt has uh, you know it's hydrophobic that is attracts water so what uh, in short it does is basically leads to rise, rise in blood pressure so you develop hypertension foods with high amount of saturated salt and sugar is terrible for your heart health deep fried fruits containing red meat burgers sandwiches french fries or potato fries contain high levels of salt and saturated fats these are often fried in hydrogenated oils these are relatively cheaper in mass manufacturing these fats will increase the level of ldl or the bad cholesterol in the heart saturated fats beyond the limit they tend to promote the build up of bad cholesterol and at the same time make you obese and what it does is that it gives you a double whammy number one you gain more weight and you become insulin resistant and you have the risk of developing diabetes sugar is sweet poison excessive sugar leads to a whole range of non communicable lifestyle diseases a permissible limit of having sugar is around 7 cubes a day even though the body already converts food into simple sugars as fuel for energy having more can be detrimental also sugar is hidden in many other sources of food so if you're not consuming any mithai or chocolate or you don't like your tea to be very sweet don't think that you're not getting sugar in different forms you still are getting plenty of sugar from the different food items you eat you don't actually require any added sugar but still uh, we know that uh, it cannot be you will definitely consume some amount of sugar so it should not be say more than 7 cubes of sugars in a day for any healthy adult Now imagine this: 250 ml of can of your uh, cola will give you roughly around nine cubes of sugar. So, your daily requirement is superseded. In fact, diet sodas have also been linked to obesity. What about red meat? It's popular amongst non-vegetarians. Is red meat good or is red meat bad? Red meat is rich in saturated fats and tends to carry L. Carnitine, a compound that can lead to a buildup of plaque in the arteries. Doctors say that people who are fond of eating meat should go ahead with lean cuts of red meat that carry protein and less fat. If you like chicken, wings or breast pieces are primarily good sources of protein and carry less fats. Fish undoubtedly is a healthier option for non-vegetarians. Now all of these food items popular among children are certainly not good. White bread is made of refined flour, sugar and processed oils that don't really have any health benefits including white pasta. Rice does not contain high fiber content which is why it shouldn't be consumed for a healthy heart in high amounts. Rice combined with vegetables and dals and lentils has good nutritional value. Consumption of rice however must be limited. People who eat lots of rice and don't exercise will end up having a pot belly. It also leads to spike in blood sugar levels. That's why it's a food item prohibited for those people with high sugar levels. Whenever weight goes up, the heart has to work harder, and that's the reason why this is one food item that must be used in moderation. For more informative videos like this, keep watching India Today News Mo.